All right, welcome back to what is mass 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 defect because my game is defective because well, it's not, but it will be because it's me playing any game, and I, anytime I play any game, it glitches, and it makes me want to die. So last time we played Mass or Mass Erect, the one, uh, Shepard saw some spooky things when he met when he met the Marker, and the Marker showed him that Dead Space 2 playthrough was the best playthrough on the series. You should go and check it out on my channel. <laughs> Self-plugs. Please report me for self-plugging, that's not funny. And uh, Ashley was on our ship, and Eden Prime fell, and uh, speaking of Ashley, there's the fine piece of ass right there. Hey, and then Andrew. there's Caden over there. Oh, look at everyone. Dr. Chalk was. All right. Let me go talk to Chocolates over here first. Hello, Ms. Doctor. Commander, is there something you need? Uh, Caden Olenko, oh, well, do how's he doing? Then? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Mm. Over a dozen special commendations. I hit the mic. Whoops. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What's an L2? Is that like a C3PL? All right, that wasn't even funny. I hate myself. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired for the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Tell me about these complications, Doc. What happens? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Well, that sounds like the shittiest fucking thing out there. You go in, you want some L2s, you know, it's like, hey, you guys, you guys look like you got biotic abilities in your DNA. Here's some L2s, and it's like, guys, I'm insane. Guys, I can't even move. Guys, I have a headache. Caden got lucky. I mean, uh, fucking, if there's an L2, I wonder if there's an L1, and those people must be fucked. Those people literally must be fucked. They, they're they dead. They probably, they're dead. They're probably dead. Like, fucking rip DL1 users. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. Ooh, the crew baby. knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Hey, me too. Because I'm Paragon Shepard. I should go. <laughs> I should go. <laughs> I love when he says that. I should go. Is that my locker? That is my locker. Let's see, uh... Nope, my scooter's not in here. Funny thing is... Okay, so in high school, I once rode my scooter. I, I had a retro scooter. Fucking, I think, seen sophomore year or whatever. My grandma bought it for me. Cause she's like, remember that time you used to ride your scooter everywhere when you were a kid? Here's a scooter now. And I'm like, okay, thank you. So I rode it to school one time. And fucking, uh, hold on, I'll talk to Caden after the story. So I wrote to school one time, I put it in my locker, because I was like, dude, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to fucking put this, I'll put it in my locker. Because I didn't even use my locker in the first place, it was literally just unused until I put my scooter in there. So I put my scooter in the locker, and then I forgot about it, and then see, so junior year comes around, I can't remember fucking what came after sophomore year, apparently because I'm an idiot. So junior year comes around, and I go back to my locker, and they took my scooter. They didn't even fucking tell me. I mean, obviously they were like, you know, hey, if you get something in your locker, you should you should take it out. You're gonna lose it. I, mean, I forgot I had it in there. So what the fuck? I mean, of course that is my fault because I didn't check my locker. But once again, you know, they should have been like, hey, idiot, you have a scooter in your fucking. Look at that lens flare. Sorry, hey, idiot, you got a scooter in your fucking locker. We're gonna take it. And I'd be like, okay, you can have that piece of shit. Sorry, Grandma, if you're watching this. His scooter wasn't a piece of shit. I just didn't really use it too often. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Is that what you gotta say to me, Caden? Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking asshole. That lens flare is pretty. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Oh, yes, that Jenkins guy, he got shot dead like a fucking idiot. I mean, he'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You look here, Ashley. And I drink my Mountain Dew with my green eyes that look like they're sponsored by Mountain Dew. Is this Mountain Dew Shepherd? Sorry. You earned this spot, Ashley. Not just because Jenkins died, but because you are a female and you're a strong female character. 2016, current year, whatever the fuck I'm going for. Look, you're a girl. 
Ashley, you're a love interest. Am I gonna go for you? I don't fucking know, but you're our, you, you're, you, you earned it. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. How are you doing? Look, I mean, I mean if you feel like you gotta, you gotta cry, you wanna punch someone, Shepard's into that rough stuff. I hit the mic again, shit. You can always come to my my captain's quarters, and you can fucking you can. How, how, how are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out—that's gotta be and you tough. You never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Look, man, you also did a lot too. So Couldn't have don't done it without you, don't say you didn't. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. <laughs> I should go. <laughs> I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Jesus Christ. I'm so glad to be on the Normandy. I should go. I should have picked that option, honestly. That would've been great. I got the sniffles. Fucking, I wanna die. You know what that means? It means... The fucking my allergies are kicking in and this room is stuffy and I got the sniffle wiffles and I wanna die. Alright, so if I remember correctly, this elevator, because the fucking Normandy is weird in this game, uh takes me down to the bay shuttle fucking weapons room shit. And I don't really care. I don't think there's anyone down there yet, because I don't think I actually have anyone. So I think we can go up here to the door control, open this bullshit up and see some what the fuck kind of hairstyle is this? We got a black guy with blonde hair, and that looks fucking... Ew, wait a minute. He's got blonde... Oh, that's a shadow. I was gonna say, if he dyed his hair blonde, but he, like, made one part a dark blonde that looks like fucking ramen noodles, I'd be very upset. Right, so I, th I think we have to talk to Presley? Not Pre... What the fuck? Not Presley. Fuck Presley. He's a fucking asshole. We gotta talk to... What the fuck? Commander... No, Captain... Keith David is what I'm gonna call him. Fucking Keith David. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring. Can't remember his name. Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. I look at this cutscene. As I drink more, delicious Mountain Dew. Please sponsor me, Mountain Dew. Um, I promise I'll say Mountain Dew at least three times in each video. Mountain Dew. There, there. That was three right there. Actually, I think that might have been four. No, that's probably three. So, you know, sponsor me now, do that was fun. You gotta make the buck somehow, guys. You gotta, you gotta make money. You gotta sell out one way or another. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. This song is fucking loud. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel. It's actually the Destiny well, Ascension, you fucking been. asshole. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying, you need firepower, too. Oh, Joker, I get what it's you're saying. Rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy. Normandy looked like no Normandy. What the fuck? Joker looked like he didn't get the fucking shit. He's like, yeah, you can rip through an Alliance vessel, but is it the Normandy? I don't think so. Roger, Alliance Tower. Why is my music louder than the audio? I gotta change that. I gotta change the fucking on. Uh, this song's so loud. Uh. Oh, that looks pretty. Uh, what a pretty ship. The Normandy SR1. The sexiest ship on the Citadel. My name is Commander Shepard, and I have the sexiest ship on the Citadel. Can I edit the audio? The music's fucking this loud. Is Never an mind. Now he's screaming in my the ear. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, oh, Ambassador. Shit. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Udina got shut down. Captain Anderson. I, I the see sniffles. you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. 
Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, I don't like him attacking my fucking planet. I'm not gonna sit on my ass. Shit, I hit the, the wrong option. Want to do anything? Oops. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. I got Instead, the job done. Nihilus ended up dead, and the beacon was That destroyed. wasn't even my fault That's for either Saren's of those. Fault, not his. Literally not Let my fault. We better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. I hear a motorcycle. Come with me, Captain. Either that or a lawnmower. Let's go over a few things before the hearing. It's probably actually Shepard, a lawnmower. You and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower. I'm an idiot. Level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Look at Ashley's face. And that's why I hate politicians. I feel the same way. I I got renegade. Fuck me, Ashley. I feel the same way, dear. Fucking. Fucking 2016's elections are fucking bullshit. I, I don't want to, I gotta vote for that, and I don't want to vote. Like, what? Who, who am I gonna vote for? Trump or Hillary? I'd rather vote for Shepard. My name is Commander Shepard, and this is the shit. This is the sexiest... Uh, okay. Alliance Patrol report. Captain Hender, H Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol on the Argus Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do you need to send her in a recon team? I'll be that recon team, dear. That door just opened up automatically. That's fucking... Wow, the future is now. The future is not black. It is now. Oh shit! I forgot. I need to change the ah di 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 o di do di do di do. All right. See the. Apparently, music was one notch higher. I've been duped. I've been bamboozled. I've been slapperdonked. Let's turn that down. I didn't. Oh, okay, it only goes by tens. Let's turn up the dialogue and the sound of the dial. What? What the fuck? It doesn't go by ten. I've been double bamboozled. All right. Let's turn that up to forty-six. Turn it up to forty-four. And. Maybe 47. Oh shit, 56, that's too much, that's too much! Alright, that, that's good. Oh, it's me, Captain Shepard, Commander. Human, it is always good to see your kind. That's a motorcycle. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Learn, sure. Your speech, well, that's pretty messed up, Shep. You can't point out people's speech impediments, come on Why now. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Oh, fuck me too! A forceful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Kalen. Yes, thank you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me more about your history, please. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. That's pretty good. Good for them, good for them. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Sounds like high school, except for the welcoming part. Very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. I feel the same way. Uh, the ambassador. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the council. Huh. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. 
the council doesn't care about our races. Oh, that's messed up. Rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. I should go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Hello there, Elcor-looking guy. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Hey, thank you.